What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another tech video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to open up your PlayStation 4 controller to replace the battery, but also it's going to show you guys how to open up your PlayStation 4 controller to do anything, whether it's to fix the analog sticks or anything else. But in this video, I'm specifically going to show you guys how to replace the battery, which is super easy to do. Now this is another requested video to open up the PlayStation 4 controller. Unlike Xbox and other controllers where there is a special tool needed, this one here, there is only four regular screws and all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver, which I do have right here. And you might also need a flathead screwdriver or a pry tool and I'll show you why in a second. So the first thing to do, these four screws, you're just going to remove, unlike other controllers, uh, there's nothing under the label here, so you just want to remove those four screws. Now, once you have those four screws removed, you're going to start on one side first. You're going to make sure it unclicks, then you're going to do the other side. So one side at a time. So we're going to start on this side here, and what you're going to want to do, you see this seam here. You're going to grab the end here, and you're going to separate it just like that. Once the screw's out, that part's really easy. There is another clip back here that you have to get, so you're going to want to separate it just like that. With your screwdriver or pry tool, you're going to push it back and you're going to push it farther back. Once you hear the click, you'll see it like this. It's separated here. Now you're going to flip it over and you're going to do this side. It's the same thing on the seam on the front. You're just going to separate it just like that. Then you're going to push it back and you're going to turn your screwdriver. And just like that, you heard it pop and the other side is out as well. You're just going to work it around just like this on the front here starting and you will require a little bit of force but you will have it separated just like this. Here now I accidentally already unplugged the cable here for the light bar and here is the battery right here. So you're going to move that to the side and all you're going to do for the battery here, you literally just lift it up out of the spots. You're going to unplug it here just like that. Then you're going to grab your replacement battery and you're going to plug it back in. So you're just going to reverse all the steps with your replacement battery here. You're just going to plug it back in here. Just like that. You're going to push this down like that. Now you're going to make sure that you connect the ribbon cable back. Just like that is plugged back in. And then you're just going to push everything back together face down. And you're going to put the cover back on just like this. Gonna clip it like that. Gonna work your way all around the console, there the uh, controller, pushing it all back together just like that. Now you're gonna turn it back over. You're gonna put the four screws back in, and just like that, you replaced your battery and your PlayStation 4 controller. Now, if you did need to go into the analog sticks, all you'd have to do is you would replace or you would remove the battery and then the motherboard and these analog sticks will come out. You turn that over and then you'll have access to these as well. But that is how you take apart your PlayStation 4 controller and that is how you replace the battery. Hope this has helped you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.